Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Advice by Ram. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting and something that I actually have perspective and experience on both sides of the spectrum. We are going to talk about who makes more, a plumber or a doctor. Now, doctor, let's let's just put that into mind. Suit, briefcase, nice car, respected at the office, the girls may have a crush on him, patients love him, I want to bring him home to my family because, man, I mean, how good does that sound? You, you're dating a doctor. Now let's look at the other side. Plumber, dirty, holes in his pants, maybe he smokes a cigarette, balding, hands are beat up, torn up, looks like a lizard. Sometimes his skin is all just, just, just scaly. Now you may ask yourself, who makes more? Common sense tells you, go to be a doctor. I mean, when we're in school, what do your parents typically say? Be a doctor, be a lawyer, right? You don't ever hear, be a plumber. You never hear this. Well, why not? Do plumbers make less than doctors? Do they make more? Here's my perspective on it. And again, my perspective. I actually went to medical school. Medical school. My goal was to be a physician's assistant. Um, I started a plumbing company by accident. Was never my intent. I soon realized plumbers oftentimes make more than doctors. When you're a doctor, your salary is contingent on that hospital or clinic. They control what you make. When you're a plumber, you often control what you make because it's contingent on how many clients you can see a day. For example, if I send out a technician and he sees five clients a day versus two, the likelihood of making more money is very high seeing five. It's a numbers game, right? But with a doctor, that's not how it works. When you're a doctor, that clinic, that hospital you work for decides how much you make, right? Because you're their employee under their salary. That doctor could see 10 clients a day in the hospital or five. He's still gonna make the same money. With plumbing, that's not how it works. Plumbing really comes down to, you make more money the harder you hustle. Doctors hustle hard too, but their money is controlled. You're limited. Doctor, on average, goes to school anywhere from eight to 12 years before they can start working as a doctor. A typical plumber can go to trade school anywhere from one to two years and then start working. So keep that in mind. When you go to become a doctor, if you even start at 18, by the time you're done, you're probably in your early 30s. As a plumber, you can go to a school for one to two years, get your license and start working right away. So that doctor who is now just starting to work at age 30, 35, making money, that plumber has already got 15 years of working experience and saving income under their belt. The average plumber can make up to $50 an hour, okay? So by the time that plumber is 30 years old, he might have accumulated an extra two, 300,000 he has saved in the bank. Whereas a doctor is probably two to 300,000, if not more in debt. So that's one thing to consider is when you're a plumber, your overhead is much less expensive and there's much less years and you can start working right away and that money starts working for you. As a doctor, you often will have family, friends, people supporting you because you're not gonna have time to work and make money. I have a friend who's, I believe he's 40 years old now, he owns a plumbing company. He's probably making a little over a million dollars a year. How so? Well, he has contracts with home warranties. Home warranties send this guy out to do countless jobs a day. He has so much work, he turns down what jobs he wants to do. By the way, I didn't mention, he actually doesn't go to the jobs anymore. He just sends his staff. Quick little pause, guys, if you've followed us this far in the video, please subscribe to our channel. Again, we're trying to provide content to help and better people's lives every day. And hey, let's get back to the video. So he's making good money and he's not actually working. As a doctor, you cannot do that. You cannot just disappear and let your staff run the place, right? You as the doctor ultimately have to sign off on things. If there's a surgery, you have to be there. You cannot delegate the work to a staff member. Think about it this way too. If it takes you eight to 12 years to be a doctor, you can't just train one of the nurses in your office to become a doctor, right? Whereas with the plumber, I can train you in a year or two what to do, how to do all the basic skills, and you can start working and making money for you and for me. So the aspect of it is, it actually is many times more profitable to be a plumber. Thank you so much for watching uh, our, our episode here. And the whole purpose of this was to get you guys to start understanding that there are untraditional ways to make money. Not everything has to be done the traditional way that we're often taught from school and parents. As an entrepreneur, you're constantly looking for unique, different angles, how to make money, you know, what can you do? And that's what really being an entrepreneur is about, right? You're trying to find unique ways to make money and how can I provide a service to someone or something 
and in turn get reimbursed for it, right? So this is what it's about. It's about having that mindset. It's about working hard. And I want you guys to remember, nothing in life is easy. It, it, this isn't, there's no magic formula. It's really about getting out there, working hard, busting your butt, and it takes time, guys. This isn't a, a one day thing. This isn't a, a one month thing. It may take It may take you a while, but at the end, it's worth it when you start finding all these unique methods. So I want you to, when you go home tonight, think about what are untraditional ways where I can maybe make money that I had never thought of and hey, you may be surprised that one day you may find out a plumber may indeed make more money than a doctor.